Hello and welcome. Have you ever received a gift you didn't feel like you deserved? And did you struggle with receiving it? That's what we're going to talk about today. I'm Barbara Hitching, and this is Transformative Tuesdays. And I'm really grateful you could pop in and visit. And I thank you for your comments and just the participation that so many of you have engaged in with me. So I thank you. Well, this is a gift I just recently received. And my daughter and I were visiting a family that we really didn't know. And as we walked into their driveway on the bench, the workbench, there were a bunch of photos, and this was one of them. And my heart was drawn to this picture. And so we all talked about it. And then later in the evening, they gave me this gift. And and I was astonished and said, no, no, you can't, no. And I didn't want to take the gift. And I really struggled. I barely knew them. And this obviously was a picture they loved. And how could I take it? I didn't deserve it. And so I really, really struggled. But they insisted. And this is now in my home. And it was so interesting because this picture is taken in Laos of a little family in 1975. And the photographer, I don't know her story, she was German and her name was Ursula Kobe. And this little family, they might have been Hmong people. And if they were, then they have experienced all kinds of traumas and suffering. But I didn't know why I loved this picture. I just knew I loved it. But I felt so guilty. How could I take a gift that I didn't deserve, I didn't feel worthy of? And it's kind of ironic because the word gift means that you're giving it freely, not because the person earned it, but because you, you want to give them that gift. And so this family wanted to give me this gift. And it's delighted my heart. And as I was reading the word and then praying and talking to the Lord, he reminded me of a scene similar to this, but in a different country in England. And it was of me with my two-year-old daughter and my baby in my arms. And that baby went to be with the Lord during that very week that the gift was given to me. In fact, it was the day after the anniversary of her death that this was given to me. And so the Lord was saying to me, I'm giving you a gift because I love you. And I touched the hearts of those people to want to give you that photo. And I want you to receive it, not to feel guilty or ashamed, but to rejoice and celebrate the wonder of the gift. This family freely gave. They didn't have to give to me, but they knew that the picture touched my heart. And so they freely, with a loving heart, gave me a gift that is just blessing me. So the Heavenly Father touched them, and they listened and responded to his voice, and they gave me that photograph. And my heart was comforted as a result. And so it just reminds me of James 1.17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the heavenly father, the father of lights, with whom there is no variation and no shadow of turning. Our Heavenly Father 
cares. And he wants to love you and bless you. And many times he tries to give you a good gift, but you pull back like I did because you don't see that you're worthy. You don't feel like you deserve something good. And so he's trying to give you a gift, but you're going, no, no, I'm not good enough. Now, the most precious gift that he's ever given is the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus came down to earth to live and to die, to be a sacrifice, to be the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He is the gift the Heavenly Father offers you. Have you received him? You might not feel good enough, I had a person in my life who I talked to many, many times. And, and this gentleman had been in the Second World War, and he'd killed someone, and, and he saw the person he killed. And he could not receive the gift of Jesus Christ because he didn't feel worthy, because he committed this horrible sin. But he did it protecting his people because the person was flying over England with bombs to destroy. And so he was protecting his people, yet he couldn't receive the gift of life because he hadn't earned it. Today, I want to say, God wants to give you good gifts and you don't have to earn them. A gift has no strings attached. If it does, it's not a gift. Now, I was going through a really hard time, and I can remember after my child was, I lost my child, I was grieving, and the tears were falling down my face. And this song by Frank Groff, written in 1901, does Jesus care when my heart is pained too deeply for mirth or song? As the burdens press and the cares distress and the way grows weary and long. Oh, yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. When the days are weary and the long nights dreary, I know my Savior cares. Hi, Tyra. It's good to see you. Have you ever struggled? Whether you're here live now or watching later, have you ever struggled to receive a gift because you felt you didn't deserve it? Write down below. You can say yes, or, or you can say what the gift might have been. What did you do? Did you receive it, or did you walk away? The song goes on, and I just want to share this with you. Does Jesus care when your way is dark? With a nameless dread and fear, does he care enough to be near? Does Jesus care when you've tried and tried and failed to resist some temptation strong? When there's no relief, for your deep grief and the tears flow all night long. Does he care? Oh, yes, my friend, he cares. Does Jesus care when you've said goodbye to the dearest on earth below? And your heart aches till it nearly breaks. Is it aught to him? Does he care? Oh, yes. He cares. He cares about you. I know he cares. His heart is touched with your grief. And when the days are weary, the long nights dreary, he is right there beside you because he cares. So have you ever struggled to receive the gift of his love? 
to just allow him to come near and hold you close and comfort you? Another verse I love is 2 Thessalonians 2, 16-17. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by grace, comfort your heart and establish you in every good word and work. God is good. He cares about you. Jesus is good. He is always with you. I urge you to allow him to give you good gifts. So my call to action. Find a song like I have. A song that you can walk with. That you can sing. Even when the tears are falling down your face. And when someone comes into your life and offers you a gift, when the Heavenly Father, who gives every good and perfect gift, offers you a gift, receive it. Don't worry if you earned it. Don't worry if you're good enough or you deserve it. Don't worry. Just say, thank you, Father and receive the gift. The Lord is trying to comfort your heart, to bless you, and to encourage you. So receive his gift and journal about it. As I wrote and journaled, the connections were made and the Lord was able to talk to me and explain what was going on in my heart so that my feeling of being guilty turned into celebration, into joy. One day, I'm going to see my beloved child. Right now, she's in heaven with our Savior. But one day, I'm going to be reunited with her. And so, when the Lord speaks words of love, listen, receive them. Speak them back. He loves you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness has he drawn you to himself. So thank you for listening. I'm Barbara Hitching, and this is Transformative Tuesday. And I hope you will check out my website, barbarahitching.com. Take care. God bless you. And be quick to receive any gift our Heavenly Father has for you. Bye. Love you. Bye.